We shot the deal since Thanksgiving and now the focus is on giving back. Mm -hmm. Today is Giving Tuesday, a day when we can make a difference by donating to nonprofits in our communities. Yeah, we know with inflation, with unstable economic times, people might be a bit more hesitant to give this year or feel like they cannot give what they perhaps want to give. So this morning, Blanca Cobb joins us to talk about ways to give without necessarily pinching the wallet. All right, so Blanca, jump right into it and talk about the importance of giving back. When you give back, it is a way to show appreciation for the own blessings in your life. Think about this, not everyone has been blessed in the same way. When you give back, you're helping somebody else. And at some point in our lives, we will have appreciated or will have needed our own helping hand. Yeah, it's an important concept for everyone to understand, even from a young age. What's a common misunderstanding you often hear about giving back? There are two. One is that people will ask for help when they need it, and we know that isn't necessarily the case. There are many reasons why people won't reach out. Sometimes it's embarrassment or pride, feel like they should have been able to do it themselves or they don't want to be a burden. The second thing is that when it comes to giving back, it's always about the money, and that isn't necessarily the case. There's so many ways that you can give back that would just change the world. For example, if you, when you give back a smile or kindness or patience, the benefit of the doubt, if you, you say a prayer for somebody or a helping hand, because think about the times when you could have used compassion, an understanding ear, or someone to help you do something. And then when it does come to the money, and we hear this all the time, it isn't about the quantity. It's really just giving any amount that you can. So and spare change that you find in your car or in your pocket, that can add up for other people because what you may feel is insignificant can really be significant and make a difference in somebody else's life. Those are really great examples of how something small can turn yeah. into something big. So when you give back, a lot of studies show that it has an impact on the person doing the giving. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely, because it makes you feel better. When you're not focusing on yourself in your own situation, you're focusing on another person or other people, you can either see the impact or you hear about the impact. It helps decrease your stress level and any feelings of depression that you might be feeling. Giving back really does have a positive impact on your own emotional health. So Blanca, when we're trying to teach young children the importance of giving back, what are some easy ways we can do that? Because it can be really hard <laughs> to say, tell a three-year-old this you know, scooter is going to someone else, not to you. Oh yeah, and that's a really good point. Starting young when children are so young, and then you just talk about how happy it's gonna make another little, a little, another little boy or another little girl to have a scooter and just think, that you're giving this scooter away, how it's gonna make somebody else feel and that they're making the difference. So if you really focus on the, those emotional benefits to your child, eventually they start getting it because what are they seeing? Mom and dad are proud, mom and dad are smiling and children love to please, but then they end up internalizing it because you're also sending the message of the impact that it's making in another child's life. It's just a process. Mm -hmm. I love that suggestion. Thank you so much, Blanca. You can continue this conversation on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert.